Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It's Michael, and I'm here with episode 11, I believe, of Red Dead Redemption. Um, in the previous episode, we did the missions Liars, Cheats, and Other Pride Americans, and kind of Swindler Changes Spots, which I got both gold on. So that's cool. And we also did that Stranger mission, Who Are You to Judge? Um, we did some bounties as well. I believe that's it. Now, um, I started the game, I kept on saving until it was daytime because it was night time when I finished, and this guy looks like he's about to put up a bounty target. So I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll start up this episode by doing a bounty target. So, who has he got for us? Harry Dobbing. We haven't done him already, have we? Nope, we haven't. Good. Let's go deal with him. So there's a rattlesnake hollow. Where's that? And it decides to stop saving. It was right around corner. But anyway guys, well, as per usual, I'm gonna do my speed up here, so I'll see you when we capture Harry Dobbin. And there we have it, guys. There's um, Harry Dobbing done. As you see, um, I did screw up the first time, even though it was pretty easy to do. It's because I've been playing a lot of GTA 4 recently, and the controls, um, though not massively different, I still can't can different. So, um, but I've gotten used to it now. So don't worry. Oh, I'm done with bloody thing is jewels, so I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, you might have seen the horse kind of glitching underneath the thing then. But anyway, so um, I'll see you at the next bounty. Okay, guys, let's check out who our new bounty is. Quinn Malloy. All right, not done him either. It's pretty cool. You just want to check, guys, that you've not done before, because there is sometimes sometimes um, one that you might have already done will come up it's happened to me before so just checking but I've already I've got like a checklist up open um, which shows all the bounties this check I create myself I talked to it before um, which I've done which I'm using to complete this um, series but yeah so where is he? He's up here again. Another one. Whatever. Alright, I'll see you when we're out with him. Nice one, guys. We're building up quite a lot of money at the moment, aren't we? Alright, I wish I had a horse would just come over here or something. But, um, anyway, that one, that went, that, ugh, sorry. 
that one went a little bit more successful than the last one. So I guess what we'll go ahead and do is um, I'll find a bounty, obviously. So I'll see you when that one becomes available. All right, guys. Here's our third and final bounty, Clark Catfield. So, yeah, that's our final one. Let's see where it's hanging rock. It's also close, isn't it? Had a lot of close ones today, which is always good. Um, we'll just set a mark for it anyway. Yep, just round the corner. And this is one. This one's actually closer than um. Than the other one, in the at um, Battle Snake Hollow. So, you know, we'll speed up anyway. You know, just to save time. So, I'll see you when we have Clark dealt with. guys that's the final one we're going to do today as we as usual you know we do sets of three now what we're gonna do I know that normally we do um one mission two missions sorry per episode today we're only gonna do one um I know I'm, I'm sorry oh and it's all the way over here that's annoying it's time to talk about it though because um, I want to, well, we're going to do something quite big this episode, um, complete this mission, which is the sport of Kings and Liars, which is another really quick one. It's very similar to Liars, Cheats and the Pred Americans. In fact, I think it's just pretty much the exact same thing, just a different name. Um, it unlocks the Stranger Mission Lights Camera Action, just the first part though, and that will actually make us play Liars Dice, which is a relatively big game, and I'm going to be play playing quite a few rounds of it to get um, a second requirement, which is to um, earn, I think it's 5,000 through gambling. Hold on. Yeah, win a 1,000 total from gambling, which we're going to do, because I believe each game you get 200, I think it is. Um, so that would lead up to five games. If I'm wrong, it's a hundred. That means ten games, which is even harder. We're also going to get a trophy, which is called. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Well done. Are they here somewhere? Where are you? Um, no dice. That's what it's called. Um, which is to lose no d dice in a game, which is pretty difficult. Um, but we'll be going for that, and then com winning for the stranger mission, and then winning for the a thousand total in gambling. Um, but yeah, so we'll get that done this episode as well. And obviously, I'm going to speed up through it, obviously, but it still might take up quite a while. And what else I want to do after that, because I mean, that should only take us to round about 28 minutes, maybe. Through we're speeding through, up through all the bounties, and we're doing a short mission, and all that. Um, what I also want to do is, I think, um, win a game of poker in Armadillo. Because that's, that's the last requirement we need before we unlock the Walton's Gang outfit. So we'll do that as well, this episode. Um, so that might actually delay um, us going to Nueva Parisa by one episode from what I had originally planned, but that's good as well because um, I want to finish up as much as I can in New Austin before moving to Nueva Parisa. So, yeah, that's good. Also, we're in Thieves Landing, I think. Um, there's a map there that we've not picked up yet from the shop, so we'll buy that. And also, it'll lead us to getting a, quite a lot of money. That lies dice game, so that's pretty good. 
think we're just arriving at the marker now. Mr. Wes Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. What? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. All right, so come we're on. following West Dickens on the horse this time, but it's not far off. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, find you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Okay, I think we've done talking now. Where are we off? Right, we gone. There's Rathskeller Fork up ahead! Well done. Thanks for pointing that out. So yeah. This is like, as far as I know, this the last type of race like this, unless there's others in another Pariso and West Elizabeth, because like I said, I've never played that missions before, but then the last one in New Austin anyway. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, so this time on horseback, which is Gentlemen, a lot easier this will than be a fair race. Um, no shooting, in a car. Stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. It's a bit like that, the very third, the third mission that we did against Bonnie, which yeah. was obstacles in our path, just against more people. And plus it's a lot easier because I mean, like, Bonnie was a rancher, so obviously she was more, pro she was more of a, uh, sorry, can't speak, of a professional on a horse than these guys. So, it's not hard this one at all, to be honest. have any problems whatsoever as long as you're an experience then quite good on horseback like right, I mean you do spend the majority of the game on horseback so by now you should be quite good on it
But yeah, um, I want to apologise for um, not having videos with commentary on it, not just on this bit, on the previous last set of videos from on Red Dead, but also from the ones on Saints Row 2 and GTA 5. The reason being, um, I've had some issues with my microphone and my Harpog, and I've only just today managed to get my Harpog fixed, which is why there's been such a delay in the card, despite the fact that I've finished school. Um, because well, it's not been working because the USB cable connecting my computer to the Harpog was faulty, so I had to order a new order a new one. It's just arrived today, so that's the reason for that. And then um, for some reason the microphone was picking up a lot of background noise, and there was a very big echo in my previous Red Dead Redemption video, um, meaning that it was very hard to hear um, the game. Um, without hearing a big echo in the background, so that's why there wasn't any on that one. And on the GTA 5 video, my my voice was really quiet, so I decided rather than have to make you listen, or try and listen anyway, I just not include it, and it also just made editing a lot easier for me. Because it's a lot easier when you don't have commentary to, um, to edit. I mean, when you have commentary, you've got to like perfectly sync it up. Um, but without, you can literally just cut out the footage that you don't want to include, it's like failed attempts or long journeys or anything. Um, that's why I, I have like a slight enjoyment for episodes I do without commentary, just because of how easy it is to edit, and it can actually take about five minutes, ten, ten minutes maximum. Whereas when I've got commentary, it might take a good 25 minutes to edit. So I just like um, quickly fi finishing it up, add a bit of finishing touches, and then just getting it ready so that I can just immediately upload it. But um, I've had some messages from you guys who watch that you prefer it with commentary, so I'll try my hardest. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John! Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Five dollars? Are you mad? You crazy, mate? Okay, so as promised, come on, house. Yep, become more famous. Nice. All deserved too. Um, we're gonna head into Armadillo, specifically to the movie house, and it's not to watch a movie. As I said before, we were going to do um the next. Strange mission, which is um, lights, camera, action, and that's where the it starts. Now the first part, um, it's, it's a two-part mission. It's a strange mission. First part's in New Austin, and we can't actually complete the second part until we're all the way in um, West Elizabeth. But I think it's only like a minor thing Let's go. in that one. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Lights Camera Action is a bit of a weird one. Like, I think we do two things instead of the one that I thought. I think you actually have to have a duel with one of these guys, and then that's when you go to Thieves Landing. I mean, no, you um, do a duel with a guy at um, um, Mercer Station. Which is where we spent did that first mission with Seth and when we did part one of Funny Man. And that's where we have the duel with his guy, because he won't come back and he well wants to shoot John, but you've gotta not kill him but shoot him in the hand, so yeah, that and um then you go to Thieves Landing and then you play a game of Liar's Dice. 
and Roger beat him in the game. And that's when it ends the mission. At least that's what I think anyway. It might, it might be a few days difference between the first part and the second part of the parts that I just mentioned, but if it is, then I'll just go to sleep and then I'll cut back to when we when the next part becomes available. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but also to point out that that mission we just did was the last mission for West Dickens. The only ones that we have available left are the I, which is Irish, which is our third lieutenant for taking on Bill Williamson. And then um, Bonnie McFarlane, as you can see, which is for her last mission in this chapter, anyway. But enough talking. Let's talk to this guy. Well, can I help you? Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited faith. Have you not seen? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years in a row. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies, and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice table. control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. Now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Who will have himself killed if you don't tell him? If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Yeah, it was Benedict Point. Okay. All the bounties appeared on the map. Whatever. Okay. What can we do one or the other? No. Seems like we're going to do the um, theme landing one first. Okay. Whatever. So as you can see, the Lies dice is there on the map. But um, I don't really have much else to say, so I'm going to cut to Thieves Landing and I shall see you there so I'll see you in a bit <clears throat> okay guys so um, I've just arrived in Thieves Landing so it's immediately going and start up thing. so otherwise I see it's $200 to get in so let's see here so each round requires a bet I got an empty. So, put in. Alright. The, conf the controls are pretty confusing, so I recommend just looking them up for yourself, but I know where to play it, so. Um, I'm gonna win a couple of games, and I'll see you at the end of it. So, I'll just do a speed up.
And there we have it guys, no dice, finally. Now I'm probably, you probably want to know to actually cut out the majority of that then. That's because it took me numerous attempts to get that, no dice. But also what we did get is that savvy merch thing, win a thousand total from gambling. So that's done. And we've also done Lies Dice as an activity. So that should have taken off, um, taken off quite a bit of things to do. I'm wondering if we can enter the shop. No, it's locked up. No, I'm not doing a duel with anybody. No, I'm not helping anybody. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Too late anyway. Sorry, miss. Um, what was I going to do? So you know what, guys? I'm actually going to um, sleep so that we can buy up the rest of the things in Thieves Landing. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys. So um, it's the morning. I'm in the gun store. And um, we are going to buy a new weapon. Which is the Springfield Rifle. So, let's buy that. It's excellent, guys. Just set that off my list. Okay. Bait we don't need. Over ammo. Let's look at that. Look at that. Available. Here we are. That'll be all. All right. Um. So there's horse. Ah, it's not my horsey. Where's my horsey? Don't lie to me, game. I know exactly who my horse is. That is not my horse. Where's my horse? Where's my war horse? Hello, the game's been crazy. You ain't my horse, what are you doing here? Oh, I have to get a new one. Down blasted. Come on. Where are you? He's a coming. Any day today. Oh, uh, come on. What was the what was the purpose of that? Come on, you. Right, this is a, this is a general store over here somewhere. That's the bar, or the tavern, or the inn, whatever you want to call it. Nope. No. Bloody. Things. Jewels. I'm done with them. So, let's find. I think this, should, this guy should have the last map. That we need. Hey, mister. Rabbit spot? No, thank you. Rio Bravo, that's the one that we want. These are all these two animals that we don't need. They can sell? Nope. Um, actually. Hmm. No. Hold on. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's all we want. Map for Rio Bravo. So that's 
go ahead and activate that. And that should be it for that one. Rio Bravo. Tick. I think that's everything we can actually buy in New Austin. All that I want. Oh no, Hennigan's Stead map. We need that. And that's it. So I think that'll be at McFarlane's Ranch. Which we'll be passing up. Why do I keep whistling sometimes? Which we'll be passing on the way anyway, so. Um, yeah, Benedict Point, that's where the second part of the thing will be. But, um. Anyway, let's pop to the general store in um, McFarlane's Ranch and pick up that final map that we need. That should unlock all areas except for like two that are in New Austin. But those are like the bridges that are leading to another free so um, we'll have to get them ones manually. But like discovering all the areas in um, the map is actually worth a trophy and is required for 100% completion. So um, that should bump up our percentage quite a bit. And then I have to remember to get those last two bridges in New Austin. Actually, I d I'm not sure if it's the two leading to another Preso, because I'm sure there are two. Or there might be one le leading to another Preso and one leading to West Elizabeth. Um, I guess I'll look into that one. So yeah, I've finished school now for 11 weeks until I start college, so that's good. Um, ooh, that Bonnie mission is a bit closer than I want it. Careful not to activate it, I'm not going to do it for a while yet. You spawned a bit late there, didn't you? There you go, Higgins Stead. Steed. Why do I keep saying Stead? Steed, yeah. And there we have it guys excellent so that is all the important stuff actually maybe some weapons but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but at least all the general store items we're going to end up buying in new austin oh, i don't want to i don't want the dog I'm not, i can't ride the dog can i that's just animal abuse maybe i'm sure actually no that's all i can't say that um, no, we're not doing any more wanted posters, done enough of them. Okay, in case the episode's dragging on a bit, I'm not sure because it definitely is for me, but I'm going to cut out a lot of it. I'm going to um, skip the journey to Benedict Point, so I'll see you there. Alright guys, so um, we've arrived at Benedict Point, just as the train pulls in, of course, so we can't. But um, here we go. Let's talk to this guy. You called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool. Or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. You've been practicing that line all week, fool? Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. That fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight. So as you can see, it's turned into a jewel here. So you must be sure to disarm him as McKenna wants him back alive. So we've done this all the time. I don't think we've actually killed any of our ta any of our jewelers yet. So should be pretty familiar with this. And draw. Shoot him in the hand. There we go. Please, I'm just an actor. Go back to work then. How's that gone? There we go. Easy enough. Come on. So we've dealt with McKenna's two guys. So what? As it says, bring him the good news. Oh, it's a trek away. God damn it. 
Well, um, anyway, I'll see you there anyway. I'll see you um, at Armadillo. Alright guys, so we've arrived at um, the theatre. So let's go in and speak to McKenna. Go, be on your way. Another adventure awaits you, I'm sure. Good luck. So did you get the deed? Easy. But well, it's not complete. There's still a second part to it. Let's which go. comes along much later on. Um, Alright, so as I promised, we're going to do... Well, actually, I'll just pull up, up into the gun shop. Store. See if there's any weapons we can buy that we don't already have on. How are you, friend? Double bar shotgun. Hmm. Do I already have that one? No, we don't. Alright. You've got yourself a deal, Cam. Alright, there we go. So, another quick thing bought. Alright. So, what we're going to do is go to the poker in. The, yeah, yeah. I don't know what has happened there. Um, it needs to specifically be in Armadillo. This one that we're doing. Um, it's behind this door here, and then through this one. There's quite a few of them here. Now all we have to do is win a game. So, let's sit down. Again, you might want to read some instructions on how to play poker. It is quite a challenging one. I think I remember how to pull this. I've played it a few times, but I thought I'd forget it. Ah, yeah, you need to make sure that you've um, got the highest amount. So. Unless you want to start working for Pepper Guts, we'll keep John as far as possible from the governor. It's not really that bad. Um, just keep calling. Maybe you'll win. I mean, I'm not really great at this game. To be honest, so I just kind of I'm gonna check. hope that I win, you know. <laughs> it works quite a lot of the time. See, there we go. So you just need to keep on going until all the until you get all the things. So. Yeah, so I'll see you at the end of this one. And there we have it guys, that my friend is how you win a game of poker, just keep going all in and eventually you'll win. So before we finish the episode, let's just head outside, get out of the way people, yep as it says there, go to our outfits, Walton's gang. So we've finally unlocked that outfit, and that's for winning a game of poker in Armadillo. So that's really good. We'll also check our um, weapons, because we obviously have unlocked some more. So we've got the, we've got the Springfield rifle and the double-barreled shotgun. So that's cool. So, um, anyway guys, I hope you guys... Oh, sorry, I just can't speak today. Today, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.